I was a public educator for 38 years, all here at Chapel Hill. When I first started here at Chapel Hill, we were a K-8 school with about 130 students. It was teeny tiny and three facilities, including the elementary, the old elementary gym. And uh, we have grown um, each decade. We've added facilities, we've added buildings, we've added students. Mm -hmm. and, um, and it's a process, you know, when you start, it's not something that you, you know, you can, you can actually plan ahead for, you know, like a crystal ball and see what the future holds. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're, we're proud of that because we're a school of choice for a lot of people in this area. And uh, we want to continue that with our facilities. How will this affect homeowners or uh, what is that tax increase? That's a good question because uh, we're voting on constitutional amendments as we speak and one of those is the $100,000 uh, homestead exemption. And should that pass, which I'm, I'm anticipating that it will quite handily, um, if you, and, and the state also has compressed property taxes on top of that, which uh, basically means each school district is required to lower their tax rate on top of the, uh, the homestead exemption. And between those two events are, you know, the homestead exemption and the tax compression, in some cases we'll have taxpayers that either see a very, just a small increase in their taxes, some won't even see any of them at all. In fact, I had somebody in the district tell me that with the 100%, uh, his, his home, uh, if with the 100% homestead exemption, his taxes would go down over $1,000 to just about $140 to $150 a year. So it's a unique opportunity for us. It's a unique opportunity for taxpayers because passing the bond doesn't necessarily guarantee even a, a tax hike for them, although even if it is, and some, of course, will have you know tax hike. It will be, it will be uh, negligible. It will not be the kind of you know the kind of tax rate you associate with uh, you know with a typical bond. So it's really a good opportunity for us as a school, and it's a really good opportunity for taxpayers to get a whole lot for not a whole lot in taxes, if any increase at all. Talk to me about you know, the, the need for this. You know, you, you had kids that went through here and you've lived here for 20 plus years. Why is it such a need? Well, um, as a former board member, uh, I had the privilege of being able to see the inside and the outside of the glass. I know that uh, our facilities are old and sometimes we would find ourselves having to band-aid a lot of this stuff. And I just, personally believe that instead of constantly band-aiding something that we should just, if we have the opportunity to go ahead and make a, a new building to where it needed, which is our gym. But not only that, the safety of it. I think that's the most important thing to me is that right now we have our youngest children out there, which is our pre-K in portable buildings. And uh, as a mother, as a mother, uh, I think that safety is the most important thing. So if we can contribute to help getting these children into a permanent building and along that making our gym permanent, a newer building to where we have, I'm thinking like 500 elementary students that use that, which is a requirement from the state. You know, they have to have their PE. So why not? I mean, I think that um, we should all come together we should all come together to be able to make these things happen. We live in a rural area to where our taxes is a, 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 a poor school district. So we don't have uh, any businesses around. We have a lot of ag exemptions, plus our uh, caps on 65 plus retirees. You know, so we don't have the funds just to say, you know, let's do this. So I think that it takes a village to raise a child and if we would all contribute a little bit to make it happen, I think that, that that's something that's foreseeable and can be done. And my last thing I would like to say is that um, I'm bilingual. So I'd like to take a, a small opportunity to go ahead and tell our bilingual uh, uh, parents uh, in Spanish to where they could understand. Um, Primeramente, mi nombre es Teresa Banda Padrón y quiero invitarlos de que por favor apoyen a nuestra escuela 
que es muy importante de que nosotros este, háganos una diferencia para nuestros estudiantes. Y la única manera de que nosotros podemos hacer algo positivo para nuestros estudiantes es votar, tener esa voz, tener esa voz para poder ayudar nuestra, nuestros niños a salir adelante.